Hello my friends, this is Michael. Today is July 27th, 2016. Well, I'm very sorry. I am here at the Dyson stand. What, what do you call the Dyson stand? Just the Dyson stand, that's fine. Dyson stand? Yeah. So I'm here at the Dyson stand at the Glendale Galleria in Glendale, California. Yeah. I have promised you that today I will show you the new Dyson robotic vacuum, but there is some misunderstanding. Somehow it's not here. So, but instead I will show you another exciting product. Yeah. And here my friend Edgar, he will uh, uh, demo it for us. So, please show it to us. Like you said, we don't have the uh, the robotic on us, right? We would have it in the next uh, couple weeks or so. We will have it out for demoing, right? But right now we have the V8 model, which is uh, pretty exclusive for us and for Dyson, which is this model here that you see Very here, good. right? So it's brand new, right? It's brand, it's brand new. So you can't really buy this at like at a Best Buy or at Bed Bath and Beyond or something like that, right? You can only really buy it through us mm -hmm. or through uh, uh, Dyson.com. Right, and that'll be uh, the way that you could get it. And this one works, uh, isn't it? It's an upgrade from the V6 models, which are the ones that you see over here, right? Okay, this one, right. so the white one, the pink one, and the, the pink one, head, the animal, right? These are the older model, and this is the new generation, the V8 model, right? Okay, with double the the battery lifespan mm -hmm. on this one, right? These the the V6s will go for. 20 minutes non-stop battery life, right? And this one here, this baby here, comes with a uh, 40 minute life, non-stop charger time, like this. Whoa, 40 minutes, that's, that's fantastic. Right, uh, like I said, this one here, it comes with the Absolute that the, um, all the products that the old Absolute would come with, right? Some people might might know that one. Uh, all the attachments, like the soft header, like which would be this one here, right? Yeah. The soft header yeah. that the older one for uh, carpets, uh, for carpets and soft um, soft hardwood, sorry, uh, tiles, yep. all that kind of stuff, right? So I could flow in onto the uh, onto this part here, right? And as you can hear, it's really quiet compared to the old model here, right? Fantastic. Right. So if you could hear. All right. Let me point the microphone down there. Right. It's really quiet compared to this old model. One out the V. I can hold one. Yeah. So the V6 model will be a lot louder. Like, oh yeah. You hear that right? It's much louder. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to that. So this one here is the latest and greatest in technology. It has more suction power, right? Right. It does come with more suction power compared to that one, and it's lighter, uh, and it comes with less uh, less noisiness, right? Ah. Than the other one with. And this one actually has a different way of uh, emptying out comparably to the old model. So Why don't you show us? Yeah. So I'll pull it apart from this part here, right? And uh, it would pull apart from this uh, red lever that you pull up, mm -hmm. right? So if I were to pull this part up here, right? And it would dump all this weight, and this part oh. will stay attached, right? Now you could just push it back in, right? And then close this part in, right? And that's how you. That's it? it wow. Yep. Right, that'll be pretty easy. It comes with the same filterization that you only have to rinse out. Okay. Right. You don't have to replace filters, right? So and that'll be those parts there, and then the HEPA filter, which is this part here that you have to clean out. Uh, so, so you don't have to buy a new HEPA filter. No. Nope, you yeah. just you rinse it out and water, and let it dry out for mm -hmm. 24 hours, right? It's just mm -hmm. to make sure it's dry, and then you pop it back in. Okay. Right. So you don't have to buy new ones, and uh, works the same as the old one, right? right? It works the same. You just pull the trigger here, and it works all the right. All right. So if I could pull up this big mountain here, yeah. right? Look at that. the section power! Wow, I'm impressed, friends. That's Dyson. Only a Dyson can can do that. Right. And it is battery powered. It is, yeah, Cyclone technology on a battery charge. Fantastic. Yeah. There's also, this extra max mode button here. The what? Max mode, max mode switch. Oh. Which would be that part there that you just switch on and off. Mm -hmm. If you want that extra power for if you want have like that corner of uh, uh, something's really deep in there, like baby mm -hmm. powder mm -hmm. or something like that, right? But does this drain the battery more, right? So, yeah, it would uh, cut the battery life in half. So it will be 20 minutes non-stop on okay. full max mode and 40 minutes on regular mode, right? Mm -hmm. right and you can you could actually hear the difference when it's on max mode. Okay. That's on max mode. 
right? Well, and the battery actually just died there for me. Oh. But yeah, we okay. yeah we've been having a, a run for for almost all day now, nonstop. But yeah, like I said, full battery life, 40 minutes long and 20 minutes on full max mode. Uh. And it and it comes the same as the other models. It comes with the wall mount that you could just uh. attach to. All right. In 12. Yeah, so you could just plug it in like that, just normally like the other models, right? Same wall mount, same charger, same base, right? But it does come with different um, uh, different attachment headers. Like you see, this one here is the header that comes with the Absolute, right? It's a different one, so you couldn't uh, replace this one onto the V6, right? You couldn't use this one onto the V6. You could only use them on the V8s, right? But these are the same ones as the old Absolute, the motorizer tool that you see here, oh, yeah. right? This one here with the brush motorizer tool. All of them come with the V8 models. Oh, They'll have that. Okay. And like I said, the normal the normal brush tools, like this one here, but the V8 models, which would be this one here, right? Similar to the ones on the V6 models, but this is the v, V8 version, right? A little bit sturdier. Yep. And uh, just the V8 uh, outlook on it, V8 header, right? So just put that back in, right? That's how that one works there. Okay, very good. And as, is there a new uh, a generation available in different colors? Uh, the the V8 model would only be in that uh, orangey color that you see there. That's the only model that they've released so far. I'm sure in the future they might be some different colorization, right? Because this one is the first of its generation, right? So we only have that one there. And for these ones here, these are a little bit different in their own respect. Uh, but yeah, for the for the V8 models, that'll be the only one that we have going on. So please do me a favor and explain to me cyclone technology. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. So the cyclone technology, how it works is the little cyclones in these little tubes here, the little parts particles there, uh, spin rapidly, and there's these little plastic, uh, not plastic, but these little um, tube parts that spin rapidly and make it vibrate so that dirt would not get clogged up into that part there, right? So all the dirt that will be in this little filterization on these little cyclones here, mm -hmm. they would always drop down to the bottom and that way it will never uh, lose of suction, right? Nothing will ever get clogged up in the main machine, mm -hmm. right? And all the particles, all the little dust mites, all that would be dropped down into the canister. And that's how cyclone technology works, right? That's how we, we stand by our are never lose suction models that other uh, companies claim they have, but you know, eh, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, and that's that's the basics of it, right? There's obviously more logistics to it. There's obviously more uh, stuff going on in there, but that's the basics of how cyclone technology works. Very good. All right. Okay. How long does it take to charge the battery? For as long as you leave it on the stand, it goes for about three hours or so, right? Depending on how much battery was left on in it, but yeah, for about three hours. Great, fantastic. Well, my friends, now that was it, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I will give you later this week more great Dyson news. And hopefully I will show you the robot Dyson, the robotic vacuum from Dyson very soon. When do you think the robotic Dyson will be here? Uh, within the next couple of weeks, right, we'll have a demo ready. We do have some um, some boxes out and we've heard that they'll be coming in sometime soon. So within a couple of weeks, we'll have them in the Glendale Galleria. You just uh, told me you have one box here? Uh, we have some boxes here, like this one here. Which will be that one there. May I show one of those boxes just on, on camera? We are seeing now the box of a robotic Dyson vacuum. Not the actual vacuum cleaner, I'm very sorry. Yeah, the stand right now is not equipped yeah, to show it off. And here it is, the Dyson 360i. Uh, here it is. Is it beautiful? Is it good in the picture? Yep. Now we are coming closer, Dyson 360i. This is the latest in technology. What I read is, yeah, this was 18 years in development, right? Yep, 18, 18 years, years, correct. Yeah, and uh, how much? This one here, price is uh, still, un, still unsure, but it will be around $1,000 or so, so that'll be there. $1,000, I mean. USD. US dollars, not Canadian dollars or Mexican pesos, 1,000 US dollars. I mean, 
It looks hefty, it is hefty. Very durable. Very right. durable. Here you see a picture the from, uh, from the bottom side and here you can see one big advantage, the brush bar goes all across. Exactly. None of the other uh, dice, uh, none of the other robot vacuums like, uh, what's, what's the other brand? Uh, the Roombas. Roomba, yeah the Roomba are just big and round and they don't have a much shorter brush bar. Right. Yeah, This one gets really all across. The corners. Yeah, and uh, battery life. Battery life, I think it's about 40 minutes or so. Don't quote me on that one. Okay, not I won't quote you. No, no, you're not on tape. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't had too much information on that one, but I do know that it recharges itself. So it, once it's low on battery, it will go back to its stand and recharge itself uh -huh. by itself, right? Well, it's a robot. It should do that. Well, Edgar, thank you very much. Yeah, I hope to bring you a, a review of the uh, robotic Dyson vacuum cleaner very soon. And now uh, I hope I'm back into the camera picture. I want to be seen the camera. I'm in the picture. All right, good. So, well, Edgar, thank you very much. Here's the box back. All right, my friends. This was a short demonstration of the uh, Dyson VA Absolute model. Very good. It's the latest and greatest in portable uh, vacuum cleaners. It is battery powered, but it has a suction power, the suction power of a uh, 110 volt corded vacuum cleaner. It is great. You have seen how it sucked up the dirt. So, well, Edgar, really, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, I'm a big Dyson fan. And this here is a Dyson stand. It's a Glendale Galleria in Glendale, California. When you are here around in, in the neighborhood, come on by. Yeah, just have a, uh, now somebody walk through, uh, just have a look what Dyson has to offer. It's always something great going on here. All right, thank you very much and uh, well, have a wonderful evening. Okay, well, let me we do the price. Oh, I, I can put the price in here as well.